Welcome to our celebration of the Stations of the Cross. This is a journey with Jesus during his last hours of human life and through to the amazing Easter morning of his resurrection. Our, our celebration today is a way of reacquainting ourselves with the incredible mystery of God's transforming love and mercy in our lives. Our celebration today is also a challenge. We will be taken into the hearts and minds of the many people who watch Jesus being condemned, watch Jesus carry the cross, and watch Jesus die. We will be asked to reflect on our own lives. We will be challenged to question our own thoughts, words, and actions. Let us prayerfully watch and listen as we watch these last hours of Jesus' human life. We hope it will help you spend Holy Week a little closer to Jesus, our beloved Savior. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. The adorable Christ, and we praise you. We pass by your holy cross, we are the Lord. Now we are standing before Pilate. You have been beaten and humiliated. You are now judged by Pilate, who asked you, Are you the king of the Jews? You never deny yourself. Yet humbly accept the punishment given to you by those who have witnessed your miracles. The soldiers placed a crown of thorns on your head, spat upon you, and led you to crucifixion. How could they have accused you and condemned you to death? All you did was love every person you met, yet they are not alone in their condemnation of you. Jesus, forgive me for the ways in which I condemn and pierce others with my words and actions. Give me the courage to love like you and learn from your example. The second station, Jesus carries the cross. We adore you, Christ, and we praise you. Because of your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. By now, you have endured a sleepless night. Betrayed by your friends and a beating that is too horrible to fully imagine. You have been whipped, stripped, and spit on by countless faces. Some of them last week treated you as worldly as you entered the city. And now, they hand you across the carry. The weight of it is far more than any number of pounds we can measure. In carrying this cross, you carry the weight of all of our sins. Jesus, help me to never forget the load you carried for me. Give me the strength to let go of those things that separate me from you. Please give me the courage and the desire to lighten your cross. The third station, Jesus falls for the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. As you walk through the streets, every moment, every jolt burns and reopens your wounds. The pain along with the weight of the cross becomes too much, and you fall. As the crowd watches you in pain on the ground, they begin to laugh at you. <laughs> they lose their own sense of right and wrong to be part of the crowd. Yet, you get up and continue on, even though you know it lies ahead. Give me the courage, Lord, to stop laughing at the pain of others, and to see you, Jesus, and everyone. Help me, to help me to remember your courage and perseverance when you fell. Give me the courage to get back up when I fall and help others when they fall. Help me to remember that it's worth it to live as you live. The fourth station. Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, Christ, and we praise you. Because of our holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Amid all the shouts and jeers from the crowd, one voice stands out. At first, it is so faint that you wonder if it is real. But then your eyes meet, and you see her, your mother. She must have felt all of your pain. The thorns on your head, the bruises on your body. She withstood the blows of taunt and sorrow to be there for you along the way. She alone remained to give you courage. She has always been there for you. And now in your darkest hour, she is there. She reminds us that you are someone's child, just like we are. Jesus, help me to remember that I am never alone in my struggles. Help me to see my parents as you saw yours. Help me to know their love for me when things are hard. Help me to remember the light of your mother in my life. The fifth station.
faith. Simon helped Jesus carry his cross. We adore you, Christ, and we praise you. Because by our holy cross, you are everything in the world. The soldiers who have beaten you all day have what appears to be a moment of compassion. Yet instead, their selfish motives override their opportunity for charity. They only want to follow their orders to get you up to the place where you'll be crucified. How severely you have been beaten that they decide to grab Simon from the crowd to help you carry the cross. He falls behind you, walking in your steps, helping you move forward. You press on knowing that the worst is yet to come. Was Simon worried about what everyone would think of him helping you, or was he glad to be able to ease your burden? Jesus, open my ears to hear the ways that you call me to serve. Simon knew nothing of your execution, but in experiencing your courage and love, he became your friend and a witness for us. Help me to follow Simon's example of helping others. Help me to know what it means to be a true and faithful servant. The sixth station, for our coercive faith of Jesus. We adore you, Christ, and we praise you. By now, the thorns cut so deeply into your head that even seeing where you should step next is almost impossible. You are almost unrecognizable. It was so much easier for them to hate you, to wish you dead when they couldn't see your face. Veronica approaches you, reaches out her hands, and wipes your face with her glove. Suddenly, her face of compassion becomes clear. No words are necessary. Both eyes say it all. For in that moment, your dignity as a man is restored. Jesus, help me see your presence in others. Help me to see clearly the suffering around me and to see clearly your humanity there. Give me the courage to follow Veronica's example of treating others with love, even when no one else does. Seventh station, Jesus falls a second time. I adore you, Christ, and we praise you. Because of our holy cross, you have redeemed the world. The soldiers are enraged at you for falling this time. They can't understand how Simon's help is not enough. In their anger, they hit you again and again before they remember that you have to be alive to be crucified. The beating stops, but the shouts and taunts become louder and harsher. At this moment, you can stop this. You are the Messiah and have the power to reveal yourself to everyone there. But you know that it will not fulfill all that is written about you. You know that you must be faithful to all of the Father's promises to his people. Remembering your love and your faithfulness, you get up. And now with your wounds full of dirt, you get up and keep going. Jesus, help me to remember that you endured hatred so that I may be free from it. Help me to believe in your faithfulness and love for me. Give me the grace to follow through on my words to others. Help me to be a person of integrity. The eighth station. Jesus meets the one of Jerusalem. We adore you, Christ, and we praise you. The women of Jerusalem were standing in the distance. They were crying and weeping. While air still passes through your lungs and your heart still beats, to them you are dead. They know you are on your way to be crucified, and because of the beating, you have endured you already look like you should not be breathing at all. Yet in this moment, consumed by death, you comfort them by telling them not, not to weep for you. Jesus, help me to listen to your words in my life. Help me to acknowledge my part in your suffering. Open my eyes to the ways I can work to eliminate violence and suffering in my life, and those who will come after me. Show me the ways that I can put you first. The ninth station, Jesus falls the third time. We adore your Christ and praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Again you fall this time because it is Again you fall this time it is because you are just so exhausted. You are utterly beaten defeated with not an ounce of strength left. Only your will presses you forward while your body refuses. How difficult it must be for you. Every bone in your body wants to stop right here and move no further. But you know this has to be finished and that this is not yet complete. Somehow you get the strength to get up. You know that the end is close, so you press in. Jesus, help me to follow your ways. Help me to remember your victory over my sin. 
Give me the grace to recognize when I sin and the desire to sin no more. The tenth station, Jesus was stripped of his garments. We adore you, Christ, and we praise you. That's by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. In some ways, to get to this point is a relief because you know that this is almost over. In other ways, it is terrifying because you know the worst pain is still waiting for you. As the soldiers strip you bare, your mother wants to cover you and hide you. You are stripped of your dignity and you have remained faithful to the bitter end. Jesus, help me to look past the outside of others. Help me to not judge them by how they look or what they were. Help me to see the dignity that you have, that every child of God has, the dignity that nobody, including me, can ever take away. Help me to find myself worth and an identity in you. The eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, Christ, and we praise you. I'm down on wood is not for to you. A wooden angel was the first place you were laid when you came into this world. There you were laid in love, and now it, and now it is out of love that you live here on this wooden cross. The soldiers nail their hands and feet to the cross. As the nails are driven into your hands and feet, the pain drills through your entire body. I can't understand why they are doing this to you. I don't realize that I am also one of them nailing you to the cross. Jesus, I'm sorry for nailing you to the cross with my own sin. Help me to seek your forgiveness and mercy for the times I sin. The twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, Christ, and we praise you. As you hang there on the cross, the faces of all humanity must flash before your eyes. As one by one you recount the words in this world, and finally say, and finally you say, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. It is finished. You breathe your last breath. The mob stood in the stunned silence as they surveyed the result of their sin. The Lord of life, Jesus, hung dead on the cross. As they gazed upon you, as they gazed upon you, their victim, they realized that you were the Son of God. They are terrified and alone, even though they stood with one another. The thirteenth station, Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Once the mom had left, the guards allowed those who loved you to bring you down from the cross. The first arms that held you in this world are also the last. Your mother was told a sword would pierce her heart the day she presented you as an infant to the Father. Now, as she holds, now she holds your body, she sees not only the man she now holds, but also the child she held, and her heart is pierced. Your comfort to her will come, but in this moment she has only the Father to be with her in sorrow and pain. All hope seems gone. Jesus, help me to trust in you. Help me to place all my hope in you and get peace in knowing that you are Lord over all things. The 14th station, Jesus is placed in the tomb. We adore you, Christ, and we praise you. You are laid to rest by those who did not abandon you. Tears stream down your faces as they remember your love. They wrap your body in clean linens and lay it in the tomb. The stone is rolled over the entrance, and now it surely is the end. While those you have lived with, laughed with, and cried with are in their deepest sorrow, believing all is over, you are conquering sin and death. Jesus, help me always remember that death is not the end. Give me the strength to say the words, I love you, to those people in my life that I do love. Help me to love every person, not just in words, but also with my actions. The Resurrection of Christ. On Sunday morning, still heavy of heart and empty of soul, Mary Magdalene and some other women came to finish anointing your body. They arrived at the tomb, only to find it empty. 
The only thing left behind were the linens that once covered you. You were gone. The woman ran out of the tomb in delight. A vision of angels assured them that what you had been telling them all this time was true. Your victory was in your death. The woman went away shouting. Thank you for attending our play. 